वेलकम फ्रेंड्स सो फॉर वी सॉ वाई वी यूज गिट एंड वट इज गिट कमिट एंड वाई वी मेनटेन गिट हिस्ट्री और कमिट हिस्ट्री वट इज नोन एज चेक इन एंड वट वी नो एज पुश एंड वट इज हाउ हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक वर्किंग विद मल्टीपल रिपोजिटरीज of git providers like we saw we can work with multiple repositories one from github and one from bitbucket there can be multiple repositories uh, existing on similar uh, git provider or same git provider like one can be on github one can be on bitbucket and one can be on local uh, deployment of uh, git plate and in other cases there can be deployment of multiple git repositories only on github it depends on the case what we want to use and what resources and how much spent we have for the repositories in this video we will learn about git branches what are git branches so when i think of git branches i try to understand first it with word documents again as we have uh, learned various concepts in previous videos using using word documents so let's look at a scenario here that we have a template for a letter this is a word document for generating a letter and this is just a template like we can write date recipient name and address and the message can be customized as per the recipient for example if i try to edit this document and just write my name instead of the original name and similarly we can change the date here for example and we want to save this document but we also want to maintain the original template and we don't want to lose it so what we will do we will go to file and there is an option as save as and we save this document with specific name save we go to the directory and say that our original document is as it is later template when we have modified it we created a new document with new name so this is in git word known as branch i have created a branch of this document here now this document can grow uh, independently of this document and i can modify this document as i want and later we can merge these two documents to create a final document so this concept is known as branching so whenever i think of git branches i think of the functionality of microsoft word save as now let's look it into the git so let's get familiar with some terms that we will be speaking again and again these are the commits we know these things as commits and this portion is known as commit history because it is growing with the time now if we want to represent this thing into a diagram we can represent it with a circle like these circles here and a message and sometimes we omit the messages in the diagram for example 
To understand the branch, I go to this website called slownodes.net and I find an example of branching here. So if we want to understand it, this is the initial commit. As we saw here, initial commit. And then there is some second commit and last commit and whatever commit. But this is growing commit history as we see the history here. We can create a branch from any point of time in the commit history. Like this branch is created, feature commit. And then we can change the code in this branch and it will grow into the commit history duration like the master one. Yeah. So the master is something that Git provides us by default. We know it as a master branch and this is very standard name of the branch that is by default provided by any Git repository. We can also rename it but we don't usually do it because master branch is very well familiar and known name for the default branch in any Git repository. I also came across another website which pictures it very beautifully called noveldesktop.com learn git git branches. So here we saw the commits in vertical like we see it in git extensions tool but here in this website it is pictured as horizontal so this green one is the master branch which is growing over the time and from some point of time a new branch is created you have worked on it and these are your commits and then this branch is again merged into the master branch. Yeah. At the same point uh, of time or in between the time period, somewhere somebody else created a new branch from the master branch, did his piece of work and merged it into the master. So this way you are one of the developer into this Git repository and your work is also merged into the master and someone else is also able to work at the same time with a new branch without disturbing the master branch and at the later point of time he is also able to merge his change into the master branch. This way the master branch is having the change from you and the other developer and nobody is blocked because master branch is always kept into a state where the code is in working condition. And your branches are the piece of work that may not be working and you may be currently working on it, but it is not supposed to work at all the time. But master branch is some branch that is kept always in compilable, buildable, and working stage. In the next video, we will see how we can create branches using Git extensions and how we can merge it again into the master branch. Hope you understand these concepts. If you have any doubts, you can always ask into the comment section of this video where I try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.